For the RO Rater time clock, there are some settings in configuration. So in configuration, first we'll go to File and General Options. And here, there's two options. Automatically check out employees during end of day and require a clock out reason when using the time clock. If require a clock out reason when using time clock is checked, instead of just showing punch in the time clock, you'll have the option to punch out for work, meal, or break. Also, in configuration, repair order, RO options, there is an option to do not show tech if not clocked in. So on the labor operation, when you go to select a technician, if the technician is not clocked into the time clock, he will be excluded from that list. Also, in configuration, labor, edit time card reasons, you can have reasons as to why a change was made when you're editing the time clock. And you can make this list anything you want it to be. And then in labor, employees. It's actually the employee list that uses the time clock. When you add a technician, it also adds a record into the employee list. And here you can also add a password. Now they'll need to enter their password every time they try to use the time clock. There's also some security settings in security levels. Underneath RO Writer, you can force a password to access the time clock. And then also underneath Configuration, you can require a password in order to edit any of the time cards. So using the time clock is pretty straightforward. Go to Time Clock, select a technician, and I can punch in. Now since I entered a password for this technician, they'll need to enter that password to be able to punch in and out. If you enabled the require a clock out reason, these are the options that will display. If you didn't enable that feature, it'll just show to punch in, punch out on one of these buttons. Technician can punch in and out as many times as needed. And if there isn't a password, they can just punch in and punch out. Now in here you can also edit the time cards. And again, if you set a password on this, that password will need to be entered in order to gain access. And you just set a date range. And you can select one of the records and you can edit that record. You can edit the time in, the time out. If you edit it, here's that list that would be required as far as why you're editing that record. And if you're using the require uh, clock out reason, you can also select a, a reason why they clocked out. As far as reporting, several reports rely on the time clock. First of all, underneath other reports, employee timesheets, I can select a date range. If I do one employee per page, it'll show all the punches, it'll total the time. There's also a signature line. In some states, there's a requirement that a, that a technician um, actually sign their time cards. Otherwise, it's just a report. There's also several sales reports that rely on the time clock the labor summary report, and the labor summary by pay date report rely on it. So when I run that report, if I go to the second page, I can see the build time, which is the build time from the labor operation, and I can show the clock time, which is the time clock. 
And then if you're actually using the tech timer on each job, that'll show the actual time. So you can get your productivity, efficiency, and proficiency. It would need all three of those to populate these values. Now, besides the labor summary and the labor summary by pay date, the uh, sublet summary also can use that and the shop performance report. Also, if you enabled the setting for clock out employees during end of day, you're going to get this prompt right here. And you can choose to either clock out your employees or you can close and continue on and complete the end of day. And if you need more information, you can go to help and do a search on time clock. And you'll find detailed information on the time clock and its functions inside the help system.